All right, guys, so let's continue with the Bible. It's popping. It's James here. Super. It's popping. Jimmy Brown, you know what I mean? Young Smokey Robinson. Anyway, we're on Exodus 30. Uh, hopefully, we get some uh, stories or something, some parables or something. So, Exodus 30. <clears throat> here we go. Some more demands by God. Some more demands. <clears throat> And thou shalt make an altar to burn incense upon. Of shit and wood shalt thou make it. A cubit shall be the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof. Four square shall it be, and two cubits shall be the height thereof. The horns thereof shall be of the same. And thou shalt overlay it with pure gold, the top thereof, and the sides thereof round about, and the horns thereof. And thou shalt make unto it a crown of gold round about. And two golden rings shalt thou make to it under the crown of it. By the two corners thereof, upon the two sides of it, shalt thou make it, and they shall be for places for the staves to bear it withal. And thou shalt make the staves of shittone wood, and overlay them with gold. And thou shalt put it before the veil that is by the ark of the testimony, before the mercy seat that is over the testimony, where I will meet with thee. And Aaron shall burn therein sweet incense every morning. <clears throat> and when he dresseth the lamps, he shall burn incense upon it. So the mercy seat. Before the mercy seat, that is over the testimony where I will meet with thee. I think the Ark of the Covenant is the Ark of the Testimony. And Aaron shall burn thereon sweet incense every morning. When he dresseth the lamps, he shall burn incense upon it. And when Aaron lighteth the lamps that even, he shall burn incense upon it. A perpetual incense before the Lord throughout your generations. Ye shall offer no strange incense thereon, no burnt offering, no meat offering, neither shall ye pour drink offering thereon. And Aaron shall make an atonement upon the horns of it once in a year with the blood of the sin offering of atonements. Once in the year shall ye make atonement upon it throughout your generations. It is most holy unto the Lord. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, When thou takest the sum of the children of Israel after their number, then shall they give every man a ransom for his soul unto the Lord. When thou numberest them, that there be no plague amongst them. When thou numberest them, this they shall give every one that passeth among them, that are numbered half a shekel after the shekel of the sanctuary. A shekel is twenty jiras. A half shekel shall be the offering of the Lord. Every one that passeth among them that are numbered from twenty years old and above shall give an offering unto the Lord. The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less than half a shekel. When they give an offering unto the Lord to make atonement for your souls, and thou shalt take the atonement money of the children of Israel, and shalt appoint it for the service of the tabernacle of the congregation, that it may be a memorial unto the children of Israel before the Lord to make atonement for your souls. <laughs> so it's kind of like the rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less than half a shekel. And they give an offering to, to make atonement for your souls. <laughs> I guess money for your sins. It makes me think of Martin Luther. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Thou shalt also make a laver of brass, and his foot also of brass, to wash withal. And thou shalt put it between the tabernacle of the congregation and the altar. And thou shalt put water therein, for Aaron and his son shall wash their hands and their feet thereat. When they go into the tabernacle of the congregation, they shall wash with water, that they die not, or when they come near to the altar to minister to burnt offering made by fire unto the Lord. So they shall wash their hands and their feet, that they die not. And it shall be a statue forever to them, even to him and to his seed throughout their generations. Moreover, the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Take thou also unto the pr principal spices of pure myrrh, five hundred shekels, and of sweet cinnamon, half so much, even two hundred and fifty shekels, and of sweet calamus, two hundred and fifty shekels, and of cassia, five hundred shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, and of olive, and of oil olive, a hen. And thou shalt make it an oil of holy ointment, an ointment compound after the art of the apothecary. It shall be a holy anointing oil, and thou shalt anoint the tabernacle of the congregation therewith in the ark of the testimony, and the table and all his vessels, and the candlestick and his vessels, and the altar of incense, and the altar of burnt offering with all his vessels, and the laver and his foot. And, that, and thou shalt sanctify them, that they may be most holy. Whatsoever toucheth them shall be holy, and thou shalt anoint Aaron and his sons, and consecrate them, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. 
And thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, saying, This shall be a holy anointing oil unto me throughout your generations. Upon man's flesh shall it not be poured, neither shall ye make any other like it. After the composition of it, it is holy, and it shall be holy unto you. Whosoever compoundeth any like it, or whosoever putteth any of it upon a stranger, shall even be cut off from his people. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take unto these sweet spices, stacta and ancha and galbanum, these sweet spices with pure frankincense of each shall there be a like weight, and thou shalt make it a perfume, a confection after the art of the apocry, tempered together, pure and holy, and thou shalt beat some of it very small and put of it before the testimony in the tabernacle of the congregation where I will meet with thee. It shall be unto you most holy before the testimony of the tabernacle of the congregation where I will meet with thee. And as for the perfume which thou shalt make, you shall not make to yourselves according to the composition thereof. It shall be unto thee holy for the Lord. Who Whosoever shall make like unto that, to smell thereto, shall even be cut off from his people. So God's saying, nah, you can't have, you can't, don't, the perfume that you create is not for you. <laughs> I don't know, it's not funny, but God, it's a jealous God, it says it in here. Anyway, y'all, uh, peace.